In this video, we will discuss identity functions. We've actually seen an example of an identity function before. Consider the function g from z6 to z6 given by g of a equals a cubed mod 6. On the left are the elements of the domain, and on the right are the elements of the codomain. Since the domain and codomain are both z mod 6, the elements are the same. If we compute the image under g for each element in the domain, we see that it actually gets sent to itself in the codomain. That is, the image of 0 under g is 0, the image of 1 under g is 1, and so on. Each pre-image is its own image under g. This is the main idea behind an identity function. Let capital A be some non-empty set and let f be a function from capital A to capital A. If f of a equals a for all elements little a in the set capital A, then we say that f is the identity function on a, which we denote like so. Here are two more examples. One of these functions is an identity, the other is not. Consider the function f from z3 to z3 defined by f of a equals a to the fifth mod 3. To determine if this function is an identity, we need to compute the image for each element in the domain. The image of 0 is 0, the image of 1 is 1, and the image of 2 is 2 under the function f. So this function f is an identity function on z3. Now consider the function g from z4 to z4 given by g of a equals a squared mod 4. This function is not an identity function on z4. The image of 0 under g is itself 0, and the image of 1 under g is 1. However, the image of 2 under g is 0, and the image of 3 under g is 1. Since 2 and 3 do not map to themselves under g, this function is not an identity. 